Now, Zach, this is your third season as captain of the team, and Coach Jerome Allen says you're probably the best on and off court leader in the country. How do you think you've grown as a leader on and off the court in the past few years? That's pretty high praise from Coach Allen. I don't know if I agree with him. Um, but, you know, th this place has, has been overall just a general um, exercise in leadership, um, an exercise in, you know, getting people and trying to, you know, impress upon people um, that you have a vision, you have, you have ideas, you have um, things that you think can make happen. Um, and, and trying to get people on board and, and building relationships. Um, the, whole, the whole Penn experience has been for me about building relationships, extending myself into different avenues, not just on campus, but off campus and, and, and in the Philadelphia area, and just trying to, you know, get, I guess, get better on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of being a leader, being someone that other people look up to, um, to be the rock on a day-to-day -day basis, trying to improve in that area. Okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about your actual play last season. Uh, your points per game dropped a bit, but your assists per game rose. Was this intentional, trying to get teammates involved more, or did it just kind of happen? I don't think, I know that we have more on the court than we did my sophomore year. So my role is, as a point guard is to get everybody involved first. That's my role. Um, if if the team needs me to score more, then I'll score more. If the team needs me to get everybody else involved more, then I'll get everybody else involved more. Um, I think last year we had you know guys ready to f fill in a little bit and put some more points on the board. And it for me it's great when everybody on the court is you know capable of scoring, and it's and it's a lot you know um, it makes my job easier as a point guard when there's multiple weapons. So I would take less points any day of the week. I take less stats any day of the week for the number one stat, which is a win. Rob Belcour, do you, do you agree with Zach Rosen on that point? If you look at Zach's game, for instance, in our scrimmage against Carlton, excuse me, our exhibition game, he had six points in the first half, which you're saying, you know, Zach Rosen, mm -hmm. he's averaging 15, 17 points a game the last couple of years. And he only has six points in the first half. In the last 10 minutes of the game, he had 12 points for us down the stretch. Zach's got the ability to be our closer. So for the first half, first 25, 30 minutes, he doesn't have to put up a lot of points. But I guarantee you, if you look at his stats last year, in the last five minutes of the game, he averaged well more points than anybody else in the team. And that's what he can do for us. That's how his game has matured so much since I've known him as a freshman. You know, as a, as a sophomore, we needed him to score all the time. As a junior, did a great job getting other people involved early in the game. But when we need to really drive that nail home he was our hammer uh, again this is Zach Wiener here with Penn basketball star Zach Rosen and fellow uh, senior Rob Belcour um, so since both of you guys have been here Penn seems to have the mentality that they want to play against as many great teams as possible last year you guys battled with the likes of Kentucky Villanova Pittsburgh this year you'll travel to UCLA Duke among others do you guys especially look forward to these games and what is it like competing against ap the absolute best players in the country this is why we came here I think you know we talked a lot about it we we knew each other before we came here but you know this is why you come to Penn because you're not going to play um, a soft or easy non-conference schedule ever um, you you come here because you know you, that coach is going to schedule Duke and they're going to schedule North Carolina they're gonna schedule whoever wants to play us um, whoever we can get on the schedule that's that's big and you know it it stretches us it's what well, it's it's what we asked for, and obviously every game is of equal importance. But, I mean, at the end of the day, the league games are more important than those games. So um, we just try to treat everything the same, try to go in with a plan, try to execute a plan, and win a game. Um, so, you know, other than, of course, trying to get a win in this opener against uh, UMBC, what else are you guys looking to accomplish in the first game? Um, I think we're just trying to go out there and try to execute. You know, we've put a lot of practice time in. We've we've had two exhibitions or scrimmages, whatever, and we're trying to go out there and execute what we've worked on at practice, um, play as hard as we freaking can, and 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 hopefully that'll result in a win. All we can do is control our effort. We're gonna go out there, go down to Baltimore, try to give a great effort, and come away with a win. I think one of the things we really want to do moving forward for the rest of the season is get off on the right start and set the tone early that we're going to come and for 40 minutes play really hard we're going to play together 
we're going to play as one, and everything we do is going to be with maximum effort. And I think tomorrow is a great opportunity for us to get off on the right start. You know, in previous years, if you look at me and Zach's freshman year, we start one and seven, I think. We started 0-7 our sophomore year. We haven't come off, you know, and jumped out the gate. <laughs> Last year we won our first game, then we had a disappointing loss in our second game. But winning our first game really put our spirits high at the start, and we really want to get into the habit of just winning. Hey, guys, thanks a lot for taking the time to be with us today. For Zach Rosen and Rob Belcourt, this is Zach Wiener, XPN Sports.